gas prices are out of control, electric cars are expensive and charging them takes forever. On top of that, the mining process for lithium ion batteries isn't exactly great for the environment. So what's the alternative? Toyota thinks the answer lies in water, or specifically hydrogen fuel derived from water. It's not a new idea, but Toyota is making it work in a way that no one else has. And it isn't just a concept, it is a real, functioning engine that can completely change the future of transportation. The process behind Toyota's hydrogen engine is called electrolysis. It involves taking water, HO2, and splitting it into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen is then used as a fuel to power the car, and the only byproduct is water vapor. Sounds simple, right? But hydrogen powered cars have faced challenges in the past. Toyota, however, already has one hydrogen car on the market the Mirai, which has been available since 2014 and is only getting better with each generation. The new hydrogen engine builds on the foundation, making the technology cheaper, safer and more efficient. But why should we take Toyota seriously? Over the years many people have claimed they have invented a water-powered car, but most of them turned out to be some scam or unworkable concepts. In 2008 a Japanese company claimed they have built a car that ran on water alone. But it turned out it needed a special material to function. In the 1980s, an inventor named Stanley Mayer claimed to have built a dune body that ran on water, but the technology was later debunked as a hoax. So why should we believe Toyota? Because Toyota isn't just making claims, they are showing the science. They have a working prototype and decades of experience delivering on technological advancements. Unlike past failed attempts, Toyota has already put a hydrogen powered car on the road and they are now working on taking the technology to the next level. So, what are the advantages over EVs? Electrical cars have come a long way, but they are still far from perfect. Their charging time are long, even with fast chargers. Most EVs take at least 30 to 50 minutes to charge, while hydrogen refueling takes only minutes. Batteries are heavy and expensive. Lithium ion batteries increase the weight of a car, making them less efficient. Hydrogen fuel cells, on the other hand, are much lighter. Battery production is bad for the environment. Mining lithium and other materials for EV batteries is resource intensive and has a significant environmental downside. Hydrogen, in contrast, can be produced from water and doesn't require harmful mining practices. Toyota's hydrogen engine solves these issues by offering a fuel source that is cleaner, faster to refuel and more sustainable than both gasoline and electric cars. But Toyota isn't just thinking about passenger cars. They have a bigger vision. This technology could power buses, trucks and even entire power plants. If successful, it could lead to a future where we aren't just reducing our dependence on fossil fuels, we are eliminating them. And that's a big problem for powerful corporations that have a stake in the fossil fuel industry. Introducing a technology that threatens fossil fuels is bound to attract opposition from industries with a vast interest in the status quo. Oil companies, energy giants and even some governments have significant financial incentives to keep hydrogen technology from going mainstream. Fossil fuel companies lobby against cleaner alternatives to protect their profits. Misinformation campaigns create doubt and fear around the new technology. The public and media are often skeptical of anything that sounds too good to be true especially given past fraudulent claims about water-powered cars. Despite these obstacles, Toyota's global influence and deep financial resources make it much harder for this technology to be dismissed. Unlike startups with unproven technology, Toyota has a real-world result and the track record of delivering on innovation. So why is Toyota betting on hydrogen instead of just batteries? With new electric cars from companies like BYD, Xiaomi in China gaining momentum, Toyota knows it has to innovate. Instead of trying to compete in the battery electric car market, they are focusing on making hydrogen technology better and more efficient. Toyota has already produced a hydrogen powered car, the Mirai, proving that this technology works in real world conditions. Now they are working to scale it up for a wider adoption. So how does electrolysis work? The process of electrolysis is the heart of this innovation. Water, HO2, is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. An electrical current is passed through the water, breaking apart in hydrogen and oxygen gases. The hydrogen is collected and used as a fuel in a hydrogen fuel cell. In the fuel cell, hydrogen reacts with oxygen from the air to produce electricity, which powers the car's motor. 
The only byproduct is water vapor, making it one of the cleanest energy sources available. The key differences between hydrogen and traditional batteries are hydrogen fuel cells have a higher energy density. They can store more energy per unit of weight compared to lithium ion batteries, leading to longer driving ranges. They have no long charge time. Hydrogen cars refuel in minutes, unlike EVs, which can take hours. They are easier and safe to store. Unlike high pressure hydrogen gas tanks, liquid hydrogen is a more safer and more stable option that Toyota is working on. Toyota is investing heavily in hydrogen technology. They are set to open a new hydrogen production facility in 2024, which will focus on developing, producing and selling hydrogen fuel cells. This will allow Toyota to reduce costs, improve efficiency and speed up commercialization. They are also exploring alternative sources of hydrogen, including producing it from biogas, such as food waste and animal manure, to make the process even more sustainable. Toyota's commitment goes beyond just cars. They are working on hydrogen-powered commercial vehicles, stationary energy solutions for buildings and even hydrogen-based power plants. So the question is, will Toyota's water-powered engine replace electric cars? Maybe not immediately, but it's a serious alternative that could reshape the future of transportation. It's cleaner, cheaper and more convenient than traditional EVs. And with Toyota leading the charge, it's not a matter of if hydrogen-powered cars will become mainstream, it's a matter of when. If Toyota succeeds in making hydrogen fuel cost-effective and widely available, it could disrupt the entire global auto industry. So what do you think? Could Toyota's hydrogen-powered engine be the future of clean transportation? Or is it just another overhyped idea? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.